Well, this heat is absolutely awful for those who don't have a way to keep cool. At least 20 people have died from heat-related illnesses this month in Spokane County, but some in our community are stepping up big to help. Emily Bloom has the story of generosity even in this extreme heat. Community is your tribe. Um, and honestly, to make it through life, it takes a tribe at times. That tribe pulling together to keep people cool and safe during some of the hottest days our region has ever seen. So to kind of be on the receiving end of that was, it just, it lights a fire under you and it really, really leaves you with a good resonating feeling. Rick Clark is the founder of Spokane Quarantine. He has helped the Spokane community out in many ways, and this time around, it's getting AC into the homes of people who need it most. There's plenty of people out there with things, so let's get those things into the hands of the people that need them. Chantel Morrison has been involved in quarantine for a while, and when she was scrolling through their Facebook post recently, she saw that someone had an extra AC unit, and she jumped at the chance. Her central air went out at the beginning of June, and as a single mom who works at home and fosters pregnant Thank dogs and puppies, Adam. replacing it at the time yep. wasn't an option. We were able to actually like clean the house and be motivated to move around the house instead of bumps on a log because we're too hot to do anything. Clark sympathizes with Morrison and many others in a similar situation. Young kids stuck at home, you know, in the sweltering heat and um, the elderly who don't ever reach out because they don't want to bother anybody. These are the people that they're determined to help. Oh, I know sometimes it's hard to ask for help, so you don't really have to get into the details. If you need an air conditioner, we understand why you need it, so um, just just don't be afraid to ask. They're up to almost 30 people so far, and they're just getting started. Right now, in the midst of the darkest times that we're facing, I'm seeing the best things that I've ever seen in humanity in my entire life, so I don't know how to explain it other than I think people are really good. <laughs> okay. In Spokane, I'm Emily Bloom for News Now.